Since her win at WrestleMania 40, the WWE Women's Champion Bayley has been attempting to continue her run at the top of the WWE card. However, indifferent booking and a severe lack of backing from WWE management has meant the initial part of her run has been somewhat underwhelming. But what's going on guys? It is Catch. How are you all doing? Please make sure to subscribe to help the channel as much as you can. Like and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another video. And let's get straight into why I think Bayley has been disrespected by the WWE. As I mentioned at the start of the video, Bailey did indeed win the WWE Women's Champion off EO Sky at WrestleMania 40. And since WrestleMania 40, I feel like her booking has been a bit indifferent. She had a triple threat match against both Naomi and Tiffany Stratton at uh, Backlash in Lyon, France, which was a decent match, but it didn't really have any sort of real storyline behind it. The whole story behind it was that Bailey offered Naomi a title shot pretty much straight after she won the bloody title, and then Tiffany Stratton got involved, and then it was somehow turned into a, a triple threat match. Like there was no build up at all. Compare that to a story leading up to WrestleMania 40, the whole Damage Control saga, in which Damage Control kicked her out of the group she created back in July 2022, and that whole story had so much more meaning behind it because it was Bailey finally beating the creation she had created. But since then, the booking has been so wishy-washy. Is this just typical WWE booking post WrestleMania 40, or is this just something we're going to have to get used to until like a, a you know next main tier pay per view, or sh should I say premium live event like SummerSlam? And another thing, speaking of these uh, premium live events. Bailey is on only one of these promotional posters in the lead up to SummerSlam itself. She's not on SummerSlam, she's not on King or Queen of the Ring, she's not on, she wasn't on the Backlash France poster, she's not on Bash in Berlin, she's not even on Clash on the Castle. The only one I could find that Bailey is actually on is the Money in the Bank poster, and that has the most superstars on one poster. There's a, a heaps of them. I'll have a, an image arrangement of them right now. Well, the point I'm trying to make across this is why is the current women's champion, one of your four major world champions in WWE, not on the main poster? It doesn't make any sense. I get obviously Cody Rhodes, he's the face of the company and all that, so he's got to be on every poster. But Bailey's one of your two main women's champions. Why is she not on there? I feel like that's massively disrespectful to her. At the same time, I'm thinking maybe WWE just a sort of basing who's on the posters based on where these shows are. WWE's schedule for 2024 is quite an international event, like Clash of the Castle is in Glasgow, Scotland, um, Backlash was in Lyon, France, obviously, Bash in the Berlin is in Germany, um, and I believe Money in the Bank is in Canada, I believe in Toronto. So there is quite an international flair to the upcoming premium live events for WWE, at least within the first half uh, of 2024. Yeah, it just seems so disrespectful to her, and I really hope that they see that and start including her on more promotional events moving forward. Bailey is also one of the legends of the women's division. She was one of the four horsewomen of NXT, which also included Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and Sasha Banks, now known as Mercedes Monet in AEW. And, you know, being one of the four horsewomen, you would have thought her booking over the last sort of 10 years would have been something stellar. But no, Bailey has probably been the least credited or the least, it's one of the four that has had the most success go her way like she's always had to, she's always been the one that's had to work the most for it charlotte flair's obviously got her name from her dad rick flair she's been a multiple time world champion and always seems to just bully her way into the main event scene the same can be said for becky lynch uh in her man run since 2018 and obviously sasha banks had that natural charisma from the start now she's obviously making more of a name for herself in uh, AEW, or trying to make more of a name for herself in AEW. but bailey's always sort of been the one that's a bit in the background picture and i really thought wrestlemania 40 was finally going to be her crowning moment and if it wasn't for a certain samoan getting involved in the main event scene bailey versus eo sky should have been the night one main event match at wrestlemania 40 but uh, i digress and that'll be a, a chat for another video but I'm just saying, that's one of the four horsewomen. I feel like she should have been, she, her booking should have been so much better over the last sort of 10 years. And obviously some of that has to go down as a criticism of Triple H's booking, but also a criticism of the previous regime with Vince McMahon. He just did not know how to book the women's division. And I think Triple H is slowly but surely getting it right, but he needs to get it right seriously soon with Bailey because I really think her title run is going to have a high and that high was WrestleMania 40 and everything else has just been downhill so far. So I really hope he gets it right with Bailey's current run and for future runs as well because she bloody deserves it. 
All this has sort of got me wondering how Bailey will be booked by WWE moving forward. As I mentioned earlier, she had that somewhat lackluster triple threat match at Backlash in France against Tiffany Stratton and Naomi, and I really hope they pick a somewhat different sort of challenger for her next title defense. I'd personally prefer her to go up against uh, Tiffany Stratton in a best of three matches across different premium live events, but that's not obviously how WWE work these days for some bizarre reason, uh, and also because Tiffany Stratton is in the current Queen of the Ring tournament, so probably not the route they're going to go. Maybe one potential route they could explore is maybe a Nia Jax route, but I feel like they've done this a lot with Nia Jax and Becky Lynch on Raw. Maybe a third option they could potentially go with is maybe the NXT route and maybe either Kiana James or Blair Davenport as a potential challenger at one of these premium live events coming up, both to sort of make Bayley look strong, but to also give these NXT call-ups something to do uh, while the King and Queen of the Ring tournaments are ongoing in the background. Obviously, whoever wins that the Queen of the Ring tournament will likely get a title shot against Bailey at some point in time, so that might be probably Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair, or Nia Jax, depending on which one of those three actually wins the tournament. But yeah, I really hope for Bailey's title reign that moving forward they book her really strong because the idea of a good champion is they're meant to be obviously good, which Bailey is charismatic, which Bailey is as well, but also they've got to have that good booking behind them as well to make everything add up. And I just think that's been lacking and is somewhat disrespectful both to Bailey's talent, but also to her tenure within WWE. Just so another thing that really bothers me is how Bailey's title reign has been currently booked in comparison to Becky Lynch's current women's world title reign on Raw. Now, obviously, Becky Lynch is only champion because Rhea Ripley went down with an injury, and I personally think Liv Morgan should be champion. There's a separate video uh, on that which you can view on my channel, but the point I'm trying to make here is Becky Lynch gets immediately thrusted into the spotlight and she gets book strong. It's almost like the female version of Hollywood Hulk Hogan in WCW in the late 1990s. That's what Becky Lynch's current title reign is on Raw, whereas Bailey's is more like the big show in early WWE 2000s. It's just that sort of similar level of booking. I just don't understand why Bailey has been booked as such a poor champion since WrestleMania 40, whereas Becky has been booked as such a strong champion and she's only been champion for like two, three weeks maybe. I, I, I don't get it and I really hope Triple H really gets this right moving forward. And I just think the comparisons between Becky on Raw and Bayley on SmackDown are just night and day in comparison to how both title reigns have been booked so far. I guess moving forward, the best thing WWE can do is to help sort of give credible challenges to Bailey, which is what makes a better title run, a better title reign, I should say. If you have more credible challenges, your title reign is going to be looked upon more favorably. Obviously, Roman Reigns is a sort of a benchmark for a title reign. He almost had the belt for four years, but you look across that title reign, and especially across the last two years, he had some stellar matches with a lot of great superstars. So you obviously, if you're near the top of the card and you're one of WWE's four main champions, you should receive that level of booking. And that's why I think Bailey has been massively disrespected by the WWE in this instance. But that has been the end of this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below as well. I love reading him and it's always great to share opinions with you but i've been the catch i'll see you with another video very soon and i'll catch you later